What's up guys? So you're looking for Flipper Zero Clone? Well, I have the device for you. It's called the Bleed Shark. The Bleed Shark is a fantastic, very cheap, super affordable, small unit. It actually also comes with something that the Flipper Zero does not have. It's called Auto update. That is actually a feature that's been sought for a long time in small handheld devices. The Shark is currently on Kickstarter. It is a very promising project and we're already seeing a good amount of updates from the creators. And as you can see here on the image, the Shark is pretty small. It's a small screen with three buttons and it can stand on your laptop just like that. The unit you're seeing here on the screen is the prototype. And already now, the prototype is good enough to be shipped. But we know that the good guys who are in Canada is actually doing a great job of creating an even better shell. And because so many people decided to back this project, and because so many people back this project, they're actually going to implement infrared signals to the device as a part of the deal. Bleed Shark will cover the different kind of things you see on the screen. First of all, Bluetooth beacon testing, Wi-Fi access spam, captive portal, bad BT as a bad keyboard, games, who doesn't like games, right? Applications, auto updates, settings, and emergency mode. Now, the emergency mode is something very interesting that they implemented. So if you're doing something, doing a pen test with it, well, then you can go to emergency mode and it's gonna convert itself to a small, well, game you play, Flappy Bird. So it actually can disguise itself that way. I think that is a really good feature for the device we're gonna see, as opposed to Flipper Zero that doesn't have these kind of features. Now let's also talk about the pricing. So the pricing here, the product, if you were a backer, you could get it for around $48, I think it was. But right now the pledge is around $52. I'm not sure if you can still sign up for it, but soon the product is probably going to be able to be ordered from the website. So let's go ahead and check out the website. The website is called InfiniShark. And here you're gonna see a small device. I'm gonna try not to zoom too much on the device itself. And as you can see, it's very small. I can actually turn it around. This is a digitalized created model, but this is exactly how it looks. You get a small device with a USB-C charger in the one side, an on and off button there, a signal sender, some screws in the back so you can actually open it and see what's inside. A small screen, I think it's an LED screen if I'm not mistaken. It's actually quite good quality, a lot better than the one you see on Flipper Zero. Going further down, you can actually go ahead and sign up for updates. You can check out the different kind of hardware. It's, it's OLED screen actually, uh, 0.66 Toma. It's a battery switch right there, USB charging. You're going to see the XAO ESP32 T3 main chip and the 3D. Uh, three times also satisfying button for menu navigation. You know, that's a quite fun thing to have. So on the button, you can see here that the infrared transmitter, the transceiver, the durable Philips head screws. So I think Philips screws also were used in Star Wars on the lightsaber. It's a fun fact. Anyways, also have a 500 milliamp Li-ion li battery and the ULF antenna for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in the bottom. Now, pen testing wise, there are different kind of things you can do. Wi-Fi pen testing, you can do Bluetooth stuff, de-authenticate captive portal, bad uh, keyboard, e evil portals, and also infrared, TV be gone, you know, everything that can connect to a remote control, you can probably try and turn on and off, stuff like that. Also remote stuff, receivers, transmit applications, so who knows going to be there on different kind of applications in the future, right? Built-in application, TikTok scroller, I'm not really sure what that is all about, but we're going to text viewer, mini keyboard, PC monitor, stopwatch timer, so many things. Also going to get some games, Flappy Bird, Space Invaders, Pong, Breakout, T-Rex, Razer, and other features like setting, firmware updates, emergency modes, and so on. Already now, we are seeing this device as a really, really close clone to 
an actual flipper zero. What we don't see in Blade Shark is this NFC thing that flipper have. You're also not seeing, you know, the capture of one giga, sorry, one megahertz signals or something like that. So you cannot record a key fob for a car, for example. But you know, you cannot get everything. But this device actually have more things the flipper zero do not have shipped already. And there is a change here, you know, going around with the flipper zero, putting on devices uh, in the GPIO pins compared to just having this small device. The size is quite different. It's my third size of a flipper zero, maybe half the size of a flipper zero. And the price is like five times lower or something like that. So what's not to like? So if you want a device, small, handheld, and you're thinking flipper zero is just too expensive for you, I'm gonna point at Blade Shark, you know, go, go check out the project. Maybe you have to wait a bit because uh, they closed the project for open baggers, but there's a good chance it's gonna be sold online after that. And they're from in Canada, by the way. So if you're living outside, outside, you know, the, 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 the Canadian border, American border, something like that, you know, you're living in Europe, I know there's gonna be some issues with actually getting the package and some tax and import stuff, but you know, that's the way it is. So if you like this video, I really hope you're gonna go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If so, also consider clicking the bell so you're getting notifications in the future. So I'm just gonna say like, I'm really happy you watched this video, got this far. Thumbs up for you and see you again in the future.